And there's a ground ball through the left side. There's an RBI, a base hit for Kent. As Stan Javier scores, it's 1-0 Giants. Ramon Martinez stops at second base. The pitch, and there's a fly ball hit to deep left center field. Al Martin back, so too is Brand Brown, and this one is out of here. Three-run homer for Jeff Kent has tied the game. His fourth of the year. Well, with Barry Bonds out of this lineup, you know, you look for a guy that you probably uh, want to be very careful with in big situations, and it was probably would be Jeff Kent. Chris Peters with the pitch, and Kent drives this one towards center field, and it will fall in for a hit. Go all the way to the wall. It'll score a run. Brand Brown will get the ball in. Kent's going to try for a triple. Warren Morris's throw is late. Head first dive and a triple for Jeff Kent. His fifth RBI gives the Giants a 6-4 lead. Kent, 3-for-3. Three three. He's got at least one RBI in every at-bat tonight. There's a rip shot in the left field. Martin over to cut it off. Does a 360 spin. Throws towards second base. Kent the head first dive and he's in there with a double. And that is the cycle for Kent. He singled in the first, homered in the third, tripled in the fifth and even the crowd here at Three Rivers appreciates the effort of Jeff Kent as he has hit for the cycle. He was not about to stop. Al Martin cut that ball off. I think most guys would have probably pulled up around first base when they saw the left fielder and throwing it in, but he knew he needed the double. This is ripped into center field. A base hit. Jeff Kent keeps it going five for five. He's starting over again. He got the single, yeah. home run, triple, double. Nice single again. That cycle is a pretty rare event. Last time a Giant did it was April 22nd of 1991. Robbie Thompson did it. 